And now we come to our regular feature, a book at bedtime. Now, a one-time comedian, but now BBC's answer to Bob Holness, ladies and gentlemen, Rory McGrath. A grim and ghostly mist swirled over the rain-sodden streets of North London. The silence was broken only by the hooting of a very gifted bat. <laughs> the moon was full, and astronauts queued outside. <laughs> the wind whistled all through the night, and other Welsh hymns. <laughs> a car pulled up outside 15 Birchwood Close. Nigel was giving Shirley a lift home. Nigel was an exceptional young man, heart of gold, nerves of steel, alabaster feet and a knob of butter. <laughs> It had been a lovely evening, an intimate, romantic dinner for two. A single red rose and a candle. Not very tasty, but lots of roughies. <laughs> Nigel hoped Shirley would ask him in for some coffee, or better still, some rampant, horny sex. <laughs> last, time, last time he recalled, all he got was a peck on the cheek, but that's one of the drawbacks of keeping a parrot in your underpants. Why don't you come up to my flat for some rampant, horny sex, said Shirley. <laughs> Nigel could hardly believe his ears. But then nobody could. They were six feet long and covered in fur. <laughs> Shirley's flat was small and cold, but fortunately, it was also large and warm. <laughs> oh, before anything happens, I'd better warn you. I'm not on the pill, said Nigel. <laughs> Don't worry, said Shirley, put this on. Nigel put it on. It was the Beach Boys' greatest hits. <laughs> Nigel and Shirley gazed at each other. Their eyes met to form one huge eye that could see in four directions. <laughs> there was a pause. It was Nigel who broke the silence, apologised and opened the window. <laughs> Relaxing with the music and wine, they both started to undress. There was a slight moment of embarrassment for Nigel. When he took his underpants off, the parrot flew out. <laughs> they sat opposite each other, naked on the bed. Shirley had the most perfect <coughs> breasts. He leaned towards her. They embraced. And there aren't many breasts that can do that. <laughs> Nigel licked his lips. He then licked the small of his back, <laughs> which for my money beats a breast trick any day. <laughs> they made love. Afterwards, Shirley took out a pack of cigarettes. I thought there was something in the way, said Nigel. <laughs> Nigel, said Shirley later, am I the first girl you've ever made love to? I don't know, said Nigel. Were you stuck in a lift in Harrods in 1979? <laughs> Thank you. Good night. <laughs>